All right, so lots of complaints about your audio in the Twitch feed, Mike, so don't do anything. I'm going to handle this. I'm disconnecting you. you, and I'm going to reconnect you again. Because this is your fault, isn't it? I do everything for these these Twitch homies right here right. to try to... Oh, I just cut them off. Just to try to make your listening experience and all of you on Sports Byline USA uh, the best that I can. So hopefully when Mike returns here, he'll not sound so weird. So anyway, watching the show last night and... The show was just like a show. I wasn't like loving it, hating it, anything like that. But I'll tell you the exact moment when I thought, what in God's name is going on? It was when the big show was facing Angel Garza and Andrade in a handicap match. Angel Garza and Andrade, like last I checked, they were they were en route to a tag team championship match. And they go out there with the big show. And here's the story of the match, everybody. The Big Show is killing Andrade. He's squashing him. He's just smashing this guy. Angel Garza gets a blind tag. He gets into the ring. He actually gets some heat on the Big Show. He's stomping him down. He's pounding on him. Andrade then blind tags himself in. Angel gets angry about it because he believes this was his time to shine. And he was, in fact, shining. He walks out on Andrade... He tells Andrade, okay, it's your time right now. And Andrade turns around. The Big Show grabs him. The Big Show choke slams him. The Big Show wins. Now, I mean, granted, I'm watching all of these old Raws, so it's not really fair because I'm, I'm watching this and I'm watching 20 years ago in real time. But do you realize that Big Show debuted in WWE? In 1999, MJF was three years old when the Big Show debuted in in WWF. In the year 2000, 2001, the storyline was that the Big Show was the biggest waste of talent in the history of of W. He had already been sent down to Ohio Valley because he was too heavy. He got back. He, he got brought back, and that was the storyline. Vince McMahon was telling him, "You are the biggest waste of talent ever seen in this company." This was in two thousand one. Took about the video game and everything. Now I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but it's now twenty twenty. I'm pretty sure because of the way that twenty twenty has gone, everyone is aware it's twenty twenty. But dude. <laughs> The Big Show is out there. He's single-handedly beating up the number one contenders to the to the tag team titles. He, he just beats them by himself, basically. And this, by the way, this was the third straight, I believe, here on this show. And then we add MVP and Apollo. MVP, everybody. I love MVP. But he beat Apollo. And, of course, we had Sasha Banks beating Asuka, which I'm not so annoyed about that, but, you know, that is that is what it is. And, of course, Seth Rollins pinned Umberto Carrillo with a curb stomp. You know how long Seth Rollins has been around? Every, and there was one other on the show, by the way, earlier on. But, like, the point of this is everybody, everybody... Oh, I, I actually, yeah, R-Truth pinned Tazawa. I mean, you know how long R-Truth has been here? He's been here longer than the big show. And then there was uh, one Kate more Quick. as well. Yeah, But anyway, like the point of this is, every single solitary one of the young stars that Paul Heyman had spent months trying to build and get over, beaten, 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 beaten by a veteran over and over again on this show. It was incredible. You go with what you know. That's what Vince knows. That's what, that's what Bruce Pritchard knows. And if I... Look, if they were doing this to recenter after Paul Heyman is going and you want to kind of try to recenter some things and you have the unfortunate injury to edge, which has caused you to bring in, I would, I assume that's why they're doing this cause them to bring in the big show into the deal uh, to kind of kill some time with, but keep the legend killer thing up. Okay, fine there. But why have Andrade, why are Andrade and, and Garza going at each other? Why, why is that necessary? You know, I understand MVP going out there and, and beating, uh, uh, 
who was it? Um, Apollo. I do actually get that. But then what happens afterwards where why does Cedric have to be and Ricochet have to be buried that bad? You know, I, I just some Dude, of the moves they all got made. beer. I mean, MVP beats the guy. Then his buddies That's run fine. in. They all get beaten up. Then they announce after the commercial it's Ricochet versus Lashley. Ninety eight percent of that match was Lashley killing the guy. And then he beat him in the end. Yeah. Wow. They sure got the rub. From being in the ring. I mean, the whole storyline is Lashley's been there for 13 years, and he's never gotten a fair shot at the title until this past month. And he's here just killing three dudes. Three young guys are trying to, or they were trying to get over. Not anymore. Thank God we got that ricochet. We got that ricochet 360 or whatever coming. That's going to rehab the guy. 